Hi, my name is Miles. I'm a product specialist here at Charles Gabus Ford, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and create an account on Ford's new Ford Pass app. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is download the app onto your phone. If you're on an iPhone, you can go to the App Store and download it, or if you're on an Android, it's just go to the Google Play Store and find it there as well. Uh, it's just called Ford Pass, and I'll go ahead and put a link in the description for its location there. But you can just search there for the app and it'll pop up, and you can download it. And it is free, by the way. But I already have it downloaded on my phone, we can see up here. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll just open it up. So then it will prompt you to log into your account to start with. Uh, if, as a side note here, if you have ever created a Ford credit account or a Ford owner account on Ford's website, those credentials will most likely work here. You can just enter your email and your password for those accounts and it will let you in. But if you have not here, what we're gonna be covering is creating an account. So that option here is right below the login button. It says create account, so we'll select that. All right, and it's just giving us some terms and privacy policy. We'll just go ahead and hit accept on that. And all right, so the first thing it's asking for us here is just a first and last name. So we'll go ahead and type that in. All right, and then we just need an email. And then it's asking for us for a password. Now there are some requirements here for the password. It needs to be at least six characters long, needs a uppercase and a lowercase letter, and a number between zero and nine. So those are just the only requirements. Other than that, it can be whatever you want. All right, and then you just type it in a second time there, you can see, and it turns green, letting you know that they are the same. If you missed a letter or if the passwords were different, it'll just be red there, letting you know that you missed something. You'll just have to go back and make sure everything's typed in correctly. So I'll go ahead and hit done there. You can add a phone number as well. That is optional. So I'll go ahead and skip it here and we'll hit next. All right, so then it does require your address as well. So I'll go ahead and put that in. All right, once you have that all filled in, we'll go ahead and hit done. All right, so then the next requirement, since you can access a lot of your vehicle features through the app, they just want to make sure it's totally secure for you. So they're asking for a four digit pin and that's just any four numbers you would want. And then you type it again to confirm it. All right, success. So we'll go ahead and hit done on the bottom. And now on an iPhone here, we can enable Touch ID if we want. If you don't want to, we'll just hit a, hit skip up on top there. All right, and now we're into the app. We've created the account. So the only other step before you get to controlling your vehicle is actually adding the vehicle to your account. So what we'll do there, you can see the very top option here is just My Vehicles. So we'll select that. And it's saying it's empty because we haven't we just created the account, so we don't have a vehicle yet. And we'll go ahead and add vehicle. And now you have two options here as well. The easiest option usually is just to open up the camera. You can see you have the button there to use camera, and that will launch the camera app, and you can scan the VIN number here that we'll show you. The second option, if that doesn't work for you, sometimes if the sticker is gone or scuffed at all and it can't read it, then we can just manually enter the VIN number. You can just type right there and then type in the VIN number there to your vehicle. But we'll go ahead and go out to our car here and scan the VIN. All right, so that's how you set up an account on the new Ford Pass app. Uh, if you do have any questions on that, please feel free to drop us a comment down below. We'll definitely get to them. 
And don't forget to subscribe and like the video as well. And also hit that little bell icon when you subscribe and that will notify you whenever we post a new video. So you can always stay up to date on the new technology Ford's putting in their new vehicles. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.